Hello friends, welcome back. If you want to know what is a sprint burn down chart in Agile and how to understand and interpret the chart, then you are watching the right video. Let's get started. Sprint burn down chart is a graphical representation which shows the remaining amount of work in a sprint. It also shows the rate at which the work is completed by the team. As you know, the purpose of the chart is to track the remaining work in the sprint. It also helps in predicting if the work can be completed or not within the sprint duration. It helps to know if the sprint planning is done properly or not. It helps to know if the capacity of the team is considered properly or not. It helps in taking necessary action if required either in the current sprint or in the next sprint. Based on the performance of the team, trends in the graph varies. Let us consider a sprint backlog which has four user stories. And for each user story, story points have been assigned. There are totally 20 story points. The sprint start date is 1st March 2022. The sprint end date is 8 March 2022. The sprint duration is one week and the number of working days is five days excluding Saturday and Sunday. Friends, to know more about the user stories and the story point estimation, please watch the related videos in my channel. I will also put the link in the description. This sprint can be measured using two important charts. One is the burn up chart, another one is the burn down chart. In the burn up chart, the count starts from zero and goes on adding up to the target number. Here, the target number is the total number of the story points in the sprint, that is 20. But in the burn down chart, the count starts from the target number 20 and goes on reducing up to zero. In this video, we will only learn about the burn down chart. Now, let us see how the burn down chart will be generated to this print with all the possible scenarios based on the team performance. The Y axis represents the story points and the X axis represents days or time. As you can see, the sprint starts on 1st March 2022 and ends on 8th March 2022. 5th March and 6th March is not mentioned in the graph because those are non-working days, that is Saturday and Sunday. The sprint burn down chart will have two lines. One is the guideline, which represents how the team is expected to work. Another one is the actual line, which represents how the team is actually working. In this video, the guideline will be gray in color and the actual line will be red in color. If the actual line is above the guideline, that means team is working slower than expected. And if the actual line is below the guideline, that means team is working faster than expected. The formula for the guideline is total number of story points in the sprint divided by total number of working days in the sprint. In our case, it is 20 divided by 5, which is equals to 4. That means the guideline suggests that every day the team has to burn down or complete four story points to successfully complete all the user stories in the sprint. As you can see here, on the first day of the sprint, the remaining story points is 20. And later, every day, four story points is equally burned down or completed so that finally, the story points become zero on the last day of the sprint. Now, let us see how the actual line looks for different scenarios based on the team performance. In scenario one, let us say that the team works exactly as per the guideline. That means every day the team will burn down or complete exactly four story points so that the remaining story points will be zero by the end of the sprint. Here, the actual line completely covers the guideline. In this case, there are no spillovers of the user stories. That means all the user stories have been successfully completed in the sprint. So, no action is required to be taken in this scenario. Let us see another scenario where the team works slower initially but joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint. As you can see, on the first day of the sprint, the team completes or burns down only two story points. On the second day of the sprint, the team completes three story points. So, by the end of the second day, you can see that 
the team still has 15 story points to complete in the sprint but as per the guideline at this point the team should have only 12 story points remaining to complete at any day if the remaining story points in the actual line is greater than that of the guideline then the actual line will be above the guideline that means the team is working slower than the guideline and on the third day the team completes seven story points and joins the guideline later on the fourth and the fifth day the team equally completes or burns down four story points so that they complete all the 20 story points by the end of the sprint the reason for the slow progress of the team initially could be something like emergency leave of a team member minor scope changes or minor technical uncertainties but since the team joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint the team could successfully complete all the user stories in the sprint so no action is required to be taken in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team works slower initially but joins the guideline on the last day of the sprint as you can see on the first day of the sprint the team completes or burns down one story point on the second day the team completes two story points on the third day the team completes three story points on the fourth day the team completes five story points so by the end of the fourth day you can see that the team still has nine story points to complete in the sprint but as per the guideline at this point the team should have only four story points now the team will push their limits and work extra hours to complete or burn down the remaining nine story points on the last day of the sprint in this case also though the team could manage to complete all the user stories in the sprint but lot of stress was created to the team on the last day the reason for this could be something like scope change technical uncertainties lack of understanding of the requirement by the team lack of information in the user story or emergency leaves of a team member so action is required to make sure that this kind of issues are taken care and resolved so that the upcoming sprints will go smooth without any stress to the team let us see another scenario where the team could not complete or burn down all the 20 story points as you can see on the first day of the sprint the team completes or burn down one story point on the second day of the sprint the team completes two story points on the third day of the sprint the team completes three story points on the fourth day of the sprint the team completes four story points and on the last day of the sprint team burns down or completes five story points so you can see that finally by the end of the sprint still five story points are remaining that means the team could not complete all the user stories in the sprint which is known as a spillover of the user stories so this is a major issue the reason for this could be anything like major scope change major technical uncertainties lack of understanding of the requirement by the team lack of information in the user stories or emergency leaves of a team members so action is required to make sure that this kind of issues are taken care and resolved so that in the upcoming sprint the team can successfully complete all the user stories let us see another scenario where the team works faster initially but joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint as you can see on the first day of the sprint the team burns down or completes six story points on the second day the team completes five story points so by the end of the second day you can see that the team has only nine story points remaining to complete in the sprint but as per the guideline at this point the team should have 12 story points to complete at any day of the sprint if the remaining story points in the actual line is lesser than that of the guideline then the actual line will be below the guideline that means the team is working faster than the guideline and on the third day the team burns one story point and joins the guideline and later on the fourth and the fifth day the team equally burns down or completes four story points so that the team could complete all the 20 story points by the end of the sprint working on less complex user stories on initial stages of the sprint could be one of the main reason for team to work faster on the first few days 
but since the team joins the guideline couple of days before the end of the sprint the team could complete all the user stories by the end of the sprint so no action is required to be taken care in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team works slower initially and later works faster but joins the guideline before the end of the sprint as you can see in the graph on the first two days the actual line is above the guideline that means the team is working slower than the guideline and on the third and the fourth day the actual line is below the guideline that means the team is working faster than the guideline and on the end of the fourth day the team joins the guideline and later on the last day the team burns down or completes four story points so that by the end of the sprint the team completes all the 20 story points so no action is required to be taken in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team works faster initially and later works slower but joins the guideline before the end of the sprint as you can see in the graph on the first two days the actual line is below the guideline that means the team is working faster than the guideline on the third and the fourth day the actual line is above the guideline that means the team is working slower than the guideline and on the end of the fourth day the team joins the guideline and later on the last day the team burns down or completes four story point so that by the end of the sprint the team completes all the 20 story points so no action is required to be taken in this scenario let us see another scenario where the team will complete or burn down all the 20 story points couple of days before the end of the sprint as you can see on the first day of the sprint the team burns down or completes eight story points on the second day the team completes seven story points and on the third day the team completes five story points so the remaining story points is zero that means the team completed or burned down all the 20 story points two days before the end of the sprint this is the issue now since the team cannot sit idle for two days they may take extra user stories from the backlog into the sprint but taking extra user stories in the middle of the sprint is not the right approach the reason for this could be anything like team capacity was underestimated during the sprint planning or more story points would have been assigned to the user stories than required so action is required to make sure that this kind of issues are taken care and resolved in the upcoming sprint now i will also show you where to check sprint burn down chart in jira this is the jira tool here click on projects drop down select the project name from the list click on reports from the left hand navigation then click on burn down chart this is the sprint burn down chart here you can also select the sprint from the drop down for which you wish to see the chart depending on the team performance the chart varies for each sprint thank you friends please like share and subscribe to the channel